Good morning. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm trying to. Sorry, y'all. Is that glare getting y'all? I hope not. Uh oh. Good morning. Thank you for joining. Hi, Felicia. Um, I'm doing this scope in light of two incidents. Excuse me, I had to take my gum out so I could talk to y'all properly. Hi, Valerie. In light of two incidents. Hi, Adrian. The two incidents I'm talking about, of course, uh, one is, hey, Valerie, is, is the Bill Cosby case. And the second one is the uh, basketball incident. Okay. So let's start with the Bill Cosby case. For whatever reason, um, American culture is just so upset that Bill Cosby is being charged. And people don't believe that he did. And it's fine. If you don't believe it, that's fine. I wasn't there, to be honest. Hey, Anisha. I wasn't there. But covering my hair y'all because I look a mess <laughs> excuse me I was not there for the incidents but I also wasn't there for many of your incidents either and so for me to say that they didn't happen because I wasn't there is just stupid if I could just put it that way so with the Bill Cosby incident you know people came out um, and unfortunately black culture has a tendency to protect people um, just beyond the common sense realm of it, right? So, you know, we protect Bill Cosby and we say that he didn't do it. Hey, Jay Washington, he didn't do it. He, you know, they're just blaming him. He's a black man leaving a legacy. And the reality is that there are millions of people doing great and wonderful things and they are bad people. They're bad to their families. They're bad to their friends they're bad at work but they're they're doing one thing great and what do you know about bill cosby other than the cosby show other than jello pudding let's just be honest right and so when we protect him and say that the stories of these women is invalid because it took them too long to come forward well how long does it take let, let, let's be let's be real about the situation most rape victims don't even report it right if only one in three is reported, that means two out of three are not. And that means that there are a lot of women suffering in silence, never coming forward, never. Are you having issues, Jay Washington? I see that you keep joining. I think that maybe you're freezing up. Is that what's going on? I'm sorry. I hope it's not on my end. Um, but the, the problem is that you know, we have a tendency to just protect people and, you know, because we don't think that it happened because we don't think that, you know, they are the type of person to do that. And how many times are we watching the news and some guy has killed his family or some woman has ran her kids off a bridge and everyone goes, oh, I never would have thought that. I never would have thought that. People are always saying that. And so... You don't know just because you think you know the character of a person, just because you know their TV persona. It, he wasn't doing reality TV where you can actually see, okay, yeah, he's an idiot or yeah, this is something that he's done. The reality is that we don't know. And I am more likely to take the word of 40 victims, 30 victims, three victims, right? And then we started going, well, you know, these are white women trying to take a black man down. Well, what about the black women who are accusing Bill Cosby of rape? What about them? Because they, they have a story too. And we have to start looking at it from a perspective of as wonderful as he may be on TV, he may not be that wonderful in person. Now, we took this situation where there were 13 black women who accused a white cop and it was like oh my god he got it you know black women matter and well guess what all women matter all women matter so we can't just say that oh this white cop did this horrible thing and we believe it right off the bat no questions asked we believe it we don't care that the women are prostitutes or you know i, I hate to use that term trafficking victims um we we don't say that we just go, 
Well, you know what? He's white and he did it, so it has to be true. But with Bill Cosby, is, no, he's a black man leaving a legacy. It can't be true. That's stupid. Now we have these kids at this high school that are hazing, and they three kids rape one of the other kids, a freshman at that, and then we say, you know, they, they said that his injuries were so extensive, right, which pretty much means a lot, lots of tears in the anal area. And no one goes, oh, well, you know what? He must have been trying to get on the team. He, he, he must have been getting, uh, you know, he, he must have asked for it. He must, there's, for some reason, he, what, what was he wearing when this hazing happened? Was he sleep? Maybe, maybe he's gay. Maybe he likes it. Maybe, maybe he just doesn't want it to get out. Nobody asked that question. You know why? Because it's effing stupid to ask that question. That's why. That's as close as I can get to cussing on Periscope. But I really want to go in with, with the F-bomb. But that's the reality of it. We have to stop going, oh, well, the victim has to be in some way accountable. And I listen, I am 100% a believer that there are certain situations that we must learn to avoid to avoid other things from happening. I am not going to go and stand. We don't, we don't want to call a thing a thing. We don't want to call a thing a thing. Absolutely, Valerie. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to go and stand on Long Beach Boulevard in a short skirt and, you know, a, a tube top and, you know, not expect somebody to come and smack me on the butt. You know, let's just, yes, yes, some boys raped another boy. Yes, Anisha. Um, I'm not going to do that because I know that it puts me in a situation where I can be, I, I can not have control, right? I don't, date men um and drink with them if i don't know them right because i think that it puts me in a position where things could get out of control if i'm drunk i can't i can't fight back right um and so i do believe that there are things that we can do to avoid some situations but there are also there's also an accountability that each person individually holds that they must hold themselves to there's an accountability. I am not going to get a guy drunk and then sexually take advantage of him. Men are raped too. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you know, that is, it angers me because there is always so much stu stupidity attached to rape culture. Uh, I was talking to a friend um, and a client yesterday, and she's talking about a, a guy who is like always trying to get his wife drunk. Like, yes, yeah, let me get, let me get her one more drink, one more drink, one more drink, because he wants her to get loose, right? And guess what? If that woman is drunk and she's mad at her husband, and she wakes up the next morning, guess what? That is rape. You can't get people drunk. You can't. So Bill Cosby used quaaludes or whatever. Some of y'all show up to the party with alcohol and weed. It's the same thing. You're getting the person to an altered state of mind. You're getting the person to the alter, to an altered state of mind. And if this is how a husband feels, he has to do his wife. Imagine what a teenage boy is feeling about his girlfriend. And we don't think about it. We, we go, well, you know, that's the husband and wife. And no, 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 no. Rape is rape. I don't care what the situation is. Yes, you can be in a marriage and be raped by your spouse. Absolutely. Because once you say no, or once you're too drunk to say that, that you can't say no, you have put yourself in a position or you have, you have created a situation. Uh-oh, the driver's leaving. Um, you put yourself in a situation where um, you can be charged with rape if they can't do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Um, and so what I really want to point out with this situation, with, with this these cases today, is that it's unfair for us to prejudge because we think it didn't happen. There are black women accusing Bill Cosby as well as white women. But even if there weren't any black women, how abnormal would that be considering the circle, right? There are not a lot of black women in that circle. 
there are not a black a lot of black women especially during that time who had the same opportunities to go into acting or to be you know in a position where somebody they know can introduce them to a millionaire or to a famous person the reality is that that the ratio would be higher for white for white women and so what do you say to the beverly johnsons who have made their money who have done you know made their career and they're making money too she's not going after him for money even if you say oh she's a has been she was you know making money but now she's not whatever the case the reality is this woman these women have done amazing and i do mean amazing things in their life some of them haven't but who who are we to judge what their amazing is who are we to do that so we really have to start looking at this from a perspective of maybe bill cosby is not innocent Maybe it's not an attack on him. Maybe it is him reaping what he has sown. And I know that's hard for people to believe. Maybe he's reaping what he's sown. Maybe he's not the wonderful guy that we all thought he was. Maybe Camille Cosby has her own stories. Maybe Felicia Rashad just didn't have that experience with him. But we as, as a culture, we have a tendency to look at sex crimes so different. Hello, Big Bash Dog. We have a tendency to look at sex crimes so differently. Um, even as it relates to our children, you'll put your son out because he's gay, but you will let the uncle who turned him out be the best kept secret in the family. That's stupid. You'll put your daughter out because she's pregnant. But the uncle who got her pregnant, best kept secret in the family. We really need to start looking at the way we view sex crimes. And we really need to start thinking about the effects that it leaves on the society, immediate and abroad. And I think that's all I'm going to say on it. Because I'm angry. And I'm trying not to... Yeah, I just think that I should probably leave it there. <laughs> I probably should leave it there. But the reality is that we, we have to start thinking differently about how we view sex crimes, how we view the victims of sex crimes. People always want to say, well, if she was really raped, then she would have been, you know, she would be subdued and quiet. It's not the case. Well, you know, when kids are molested, you know, they, they are, they're withdrawn. Not the case. It wasn't my case. So we really have to start thinking about how we view the victims. And we really just need to get smarter about the realities of it. Everyone want to speak on it, but very few people have experience. Go talk to someone who's been there. And then you'll realize that you can't tell people how to be a victim. You can't tell people when to, when to tell. You can't tell people when they should come forward when they should let it go when they should be over it you really can't because it's not your experience and the same way you wouldn't tell a mother whose child died okay it's time to move forward don't do that with um with a person who's been raped because something inside of them dies and it's difficult you can't tell people how to be a victim all right talk to you guys later